Hello there everybody, this is Siwap the Blind One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sailor Moon Another Story. Last time, after a long, long video, we rescued Sailor Moon's brother from the Dark Castle, so here's my team from Sailor Chibi Moon's side. Everyone with the, ex with the exception of Sailor Saturn is at level 51, whereas Sailor Saturn is at level 52. And here's my formation. Now, this particular part of the game is kind of confusing to figure out. We can try to go in the Crystal Palace, once again, we, we can't. The game doesn't specifically tell you what to do at this point, so... What you need to do is you need to find four sort of areas in which you need to go to in order to, uh, in order to gain access to the Crystal Palace. By the way, these are the enemies I've been fighting off-screen to death in. Yeah, they give out, like, a freaking ton of experience, so, yeah. Anyway, walk up to any one of these crystal points right here in order to try to gain access, and, oh no, Sailor Moon S territory. Indeed. You Diara. I hate this girl. <laughs> so, basically, fortunately, you only have one of them to deal with, so that is something, I guess. That's something, I guess. Um, picture of heart again. Let's see what, what she does, actually. Let's see what she does. Sonic Wave. Yeah, she can do that. And there goes my main attacker right away. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. And I, he and I feel the wind on my back because, well, I'm actually recording in a rather different room. Huzzah. And hopefully this will go by well in recording the comment. Ow. This will be hopefully going well in commentary's sake, by the way. <laughs> but then again, I am editing out the bla the background, the black round noise. Blah. <laughs> yeah, I'm editing out the black... Uh, yeah, stop saying black round noise, God. <laughs> I'm editing out the background noise, so I guess it won't be any sort of different from what you're hearing, so that's something, I guess. I'm trying to get her to show off this other attack that she can do, but apparently it's not going to happen, apparently. At least we're doing, like, a really good amount of damage on UDL here, so I guess that's something, I guess. Anyway, Chrono Cyclone. I'm gonna try to do Chrono Cyclone. I'm gonna oh, yeah, Fire Buster. Yeah. Ow. That is one deadly attack that she does, by the way. <laughs> yes, she has that attack, and it is deadly as hell. Anyway, looks like I can't beat you. Aw, isn't that so... something. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, we don't get healed for that, unlike what we did with, uh, with the other folks. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go with this by ear here, ladies and gentlemen, because that's only one of four boss battles that we're going to have to fight against. Yeah, and one of them is right there, and I'm trying to show off this other enemy. Yeah, the other enemy, um, the Chargama, I think it's called. Yeah, the Chargama. Um, that thing has barrier. Of course. I hate barrier. So, I'm going to do the right proper thing and kill, kill everybody with Sailor Saturn here, just because I can. And I will. But what's more important here is that there's another crystal point right here where another one of the group called the Witches Five from Sailor Moon S appears in. Telu. Apparently she's good with plants or something, I don't remember. I don't remember much at all from Sailor Moon S, to be honest. <laughs> or at least the second half of S. I don't know much about, like, the second half of S, but I do know most of the first half of it, at least. Yeah. But anyway, um, I believe her specialty is plants, I guess? I guess that's something? But, uh, you know, it's something. I keep saying it's something, what the hell? Stop repeating yourself, dude. Okay, Chrono Cyclone in here, and let's see what she does now. Whirlwind Cut, yeah, she can do Whirlwind Cut, I hate that. <laughs> Pretty much just like I hate everything in this universe. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Chibi Moon is now dead. I... 
I don't know what this means, or what this entails, but it's something particularly scary, so I'm gonna do... I'm going to do a life crepe, actually. Death Reborn Revolution again, and I am... I don't have enough for time stop. Shoot. Well then, ow. <laughs> you don't even do that much to Neptune anyway. Well, at least I'll grant Neptune is the most defensive character in the game. But, uh, yeah. She's the most defensive character in the game. It's not like it's saying much, but at least she's very defensive. Well, if you really wanted her to, like, take hits, I guess you could do that. I guess you could bring out, like, Neptune for, for you know, getting out in the front to take all the big hits, you know? And Neptune and Chibi Moon are now illusionized. Boom. But that doesn't matter in the long run, because we defeated Telu, and that's all that matters. And Pluto leveled up from that, so that's awesome indeed. This time I'll defeat you and acknowledge your true, a new fate. What do you mean? I kicked your ass already. Duh. Jeez. Uh, I, di I didn't get... Huh? I thought that was... Emulator glitching! <laughs> <laughs> Emulator glitches are for to win, by the way. So I guess it's back to the old way, I say, but anyway, of cutting. Anyway, here we have another Crystal Point of Swords, and this is by far probably the toughest one. This time! This time! Wheel! Wheel! Defeat you! Defeat you! I have no idea who these girls are. I don't even see the episode... I don't think I've ever seen the episode where they come from, <laughs> of Sail Moon S, but... Psy Prine, I think it is, and Poochie, blah, blah, blah. Jeez. Um, so, I'm actually gonna do a basic thing, and I am going to... Basically, like, um, the double-team bosses that we encountered, um, I'm going to start off with a Fragrance. Just because I think it's absolutely necessary this time around. Because we're at a double-team boss right here, and I think it will be beneficial. Unlike Illusion, which is not beneficial at all. And crap, Chibi Moon is now illusionized, and ah, oh, god, she's dead. <sighs> Not like it matters much. <laughs> Not like it even matters much to me, because, well, I barely use Chibi Moon anyway. I just don't. But, of course, for the sake of experience, I'm going to heal her up. Of course. Of course I am. I'm, I, I'm at least compassionate, not insane. Like Master Splinter would say. Anyway, double illusion doesn't work. It doesn't. Because it just doesn't. And we got your moon revived. Hooray. And this should do it. Yeah, it does. These are actually much shorter boss fights than I remember, actually. So, again, this may be a long video. Not like 30 minutes long like in the last part. I do profu profusely apologize for that. <laughs> It's just that it was unavoidable. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything about it, kids. I just couldn't. But either way, this should take care of them, or not. Ow. That particularly hurt. That particularly hurt. And that's it. 50,000 experience, and we got another fragrance, and Neptune leveled up, so awesome. Sauce. We thought. We thought! Our fates would change. Our fates would change! Let's just say they're like Tate and Liza before Tate and Liza. You know, from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire where they're like... Where they like complete each other's senses or they could read each other's minds or something. I don't know. But now it's the perfect opportunity to explore around here. Actually, because... Um... Ah! That battle took way too long, by the way. Okay, so perfect opportunity to explore. Now, if you notice right here, there are actually shops in here. And this is not exactly where I saved. There are Luna P balls inside the shops, which is kind of sort of stupid. I mean, there are enemy encounters like everywhere. And like the only place you can possibly save is like inside the buildings where there are enemies here. Um. I guess I should talk about, like, some sort of glitch that can actually happen with the whole emulator and shit. Um, something that happened to me on my first time playing through is that, um, when I first got to this area, um, I noticed that the enemies were got gotten a bit weaker, though. I'm guessing they, like, reuse enemies or whatever. 
and I don't know. Uh, I'm not cutting this out. Um, I'm not, I, I, I noticed that the enemies were, like, weaker or something. They didn't use the enemies that we were just fighting. They didn't use the enemies that we were just fighting. Um, they used some of those older enemies that that you encounter, like, like way earlier in the game. And I thought that was like, huh, maybe the game's finally forgiven me. And sure enough, the next battle through, they, sh they throw, like, all these high-level enemies at us. And I was just like... Why? <laughs> I was just all like, why? Anyway, we got Mimet over here. Um, personally, one of my favorite. Personally, one of my favorite um, of the uh, which is five of Sailor Moon S. But you know, I don't know much about it. <laughs> anyway, um, Mimet here is kind of annoying, actually, to fight if I remember correctly, because fascination. That's why. Yeah, fascination. She has that, but fortunately, they miss. She they missed a lot. You could, in fact, say that they are missing dough. Yeah. Anyway, a uh, pink sugar heart attack. Um. Well, back to that story. Um. The whole thing with the whole emulator glitch thing that happened. I was like, huh, maybe the enemies finally said, but no. Oh, but no. Instead, they have to throw all this hard shit at me. I was just like, why? <laughs> and and. Of course, this was before, like, I knew how to play proper, so, of course, of course, uh, of course it gave me trouble just by grinding up and, and shit, but, but, it was just so jarring, like, I don't know why, it was just so jarring to me. Like, I find out that these enemies are actually relatively easy or whatever, but good god, <laughs> but good god, when those hard enemies came in, good gracious me, I was all like, Yes. <laughs> I, 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 you probably couldn't tell, but I had a really, really hard time grinding up for the first time playing through. But uh, anyway, um, we have now defeated the bosses or whatever. <laughs> so now we can actually gain access into the what the hell. Actually, I lied. There was actually five of them in total, which is, <laughs> which is I don't know. Trying to kill every single enemy I can is annoying. Anyway, da, Jesus. Pluto leveled up from that. Anyway, um, here at this shop, this is actually where I saved. And over here, I'm just showing off all the items that you can get right there. There are nothing really too special, particularly at the end of the game, I might, I might add. Because the items that you get here are kind of sort of lame, I guess. Uranus leveled up from that. It's just like... Why did they have to put, like, those, like, like, uh, like, uh, like, 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 why did they have to put, like, those items from, like, weak item, weak items in, like, the, near the end of the game, particularly, because, spoiler warning, we're here for the rest of the game. It just makes no sense to me why they did, why they did what they did, but apparently that's what they did, so I guess it's a thing. I mean, heck, even the traveling merchant had way more to offer than this, I swear. And that's why he's my favorite character in the entire freaking universe in this game. But anyway, here we have another sort of the Witches 5, I say. Villelelele. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Forgive me, purists, I don't know. Or mega super awesome music fans of. Whatever. <laughs> Ow. Well, JB Moon has now died. That's lame. That's kind of lame. Kind of lame? That's really lame. What the heck are you talking about, man? <sighs> but yeah, she's dead. Um, I guess I should, like, revive her with... Life Crepe, I guess. But yeah, Woolrin Cut. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Why do I specifically hate... Hates the the war one cut aspect. Why must I hate it? Is it because it does so much goddamn damage to like the two front party members, or is it just me? It's probably just me, but it it's I don't know. Anyway, you revive that. Death reborn revolution again, and you're not dead. Shoot. Well, at least I'll be fully prepared for this. 
I am fully prepared, so... Let's do this thing, let's kill you right now. And that would you know what? That would have been amazing if Neptune actually actually KO'd KO'd her. Because like Because like all of the times I've been calling her useless, like, oh Neptune is useless, she she has the weakest attack or whatever. Um That would have been really funny if she actually KO'd the boss, but no. Instead Saturn has to has to KO the boss. Of course she does. But either way, uh, that is the last of them. That is the last of the Witches 5 that we have to deal with, apparently. So, with that, hopefully we can actually get into the Crystal Palace before we end, before I decide to, like, cut off the video. Well, hopefully I can, because that would, have been, that would be really stupid if I would actually, like, you know, be in the Crystal Palace, you know? Do your battles take forever? Yes, they do. Anyway, um, hopefully I can actually get into the Crystal Palace here, because, again, would be really, really a dumb move if I were to end the video and I'll be all like, oh, Alright, so now we're gonna enter the Crystal Palace. Okay, I can actually enter the Crystal Palace in this video. Holy crap. <laughs> anyway, yes, so here we are at the Crystal Palace. But, unfortunately, this also means I have to end things off here. Because I wanted to, you know, give you a lenient time limit this time around. <laughs> or, not a lenient time limit, a lenient time for this video, actually. <laughs> anyway, next time on Let's Play Sailor Moon Another Story, we are going to save Chibi Moon's mom, Neo Queen Serenity, from the evils of whatever lies in the Crystal Palace. So, see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.